The Institute for Functional Nanomaterials began in 2007 uh, with funding from the National Science Foundation through the EBSCOR program. Um, the, the idea is to build competitive research in nanotechnology throughout the island of Puerto Rico and to, and to build a sustainable institute that will be able to continually compete and develop nanotechnology and nanoscience uh, in Puerto Rico and throughout the nation. I came to Mayaguez in 2004 and uh, about two years later I was fortunate enough to become the first NSF career awardee in, in our department. Uh, since then we've been engaging into a lot of research activity work and trying to improve the infrastructure in the university, uh, develop new areas of research within the nanotechnology umbrella. In terms of the science, we have the, uh, the, the operation broken down into four different research areas. We have one in bio nano, uh, we have another in, in logic and memory devices, we have a third group in nano remediation, and finally our fourth group is in energy focusing primarily on light harvesting technology. My area of research is the application of nanomaterials for biomedical applications. In particular, the use of magnetic nanoparticles for cancer treatment. The group is a very transdisciplinary uh, group where we have expertise not only in the material sciences, but also in the biological sciences and the clinical aspect. We focus on applications related to biosensing, bioimaging, and treatment and diagnostics of challenging diseases. We are also working with these nanomaterials in order to make them intelligent so they can recognize these cancer cells and make these treatments more effective. I have two main areas of research. One of them is to study the growth of catalysts as supported in zeolites. And another one is uh, the synthesis of new materials for the sensing of hydrogen. And that project is with, in collaboration with NASA. Uh, in my case, uh, using the IFN umbrella to do my research is very important because it gives me access to instrumentation that I, have, I would have otherwise not had. In addition to the instrumentation, uh, the Ultra High Resolution TEM in Rio Piedras and the XPS here, we also have this new TEM that is behind me uh, that is now available in the University of Puerto Rico Maya West Camp. And eventually we will have other instruments that will be uh, used for the characterization of nanomaterials that will be housed in the other labs in this building. In order to be working at the frontier, it's critical to have uh, personnel from different disciplines to attack the problem. And the IFN provides a framework and also provides the glue for that to happen. My main area of research is logic and memory devices and uh, also the energy storage materials. And in logic and memory devices, we are working on high-K gate oxides for the existing silicon technology and also we are working on the emerging memories for future technologies. I'm working on the grants awarded by National Science Foundation, Department of Defense, Department of Energy, and NASA. I have two NSF grants uh, to explore magnetic and magnetodielectric coupling in multiferroids and to develop some pulse laser depletion system. I work on Red Earth based three nitrides for spintronics and optoelectronic applications under NASA grants and DOE grants. My areas of research are the synthesis and characterization of nanomaterials, especially carbon based nanomaterials, and their applications in energy harvesting and biomedical applications. Among the equipment available for us to do research, uh, through the IFN, we have a high-resolution transmission electron microscope, a field emission scanning electron microscope, and a chemical vapor deposition system, 
All of these equipments are extremely valuable when you do nanotechnology. The IFN is a great partnership to conduct the research, especially in nanoscience and nanotechnology, because it gives the infrastructure required to actually conduct cutting-edge research in Puerto Rico. Since the Institute for Functional Nanomaterials is a jurisdiction-wide project, uh, we, have, we have institutions from across the island that are participating. Currently, we have five campuses of the University of Puerto Rico, Mayagüez, Rio Piedras, Umacao, Calle, and the Medical Sciences Campus. And we also have two of the private institutions participating, Metropolitan University and the Inter-American University at Bayamo. Well, the IFM it has been essential to this university because it has provided seed money to our new professors that have come to this university. I, for one, had seed money in 2005 and it helped me start my research. And they have uh, continued to do, to do that and they have been providing seed money to new professors and that has been essential to uh, In total, we currently have 42 faculty members that are participating, over 100 students and 15 postdocs that are participating in the, in the project. Now, what's the future? The future is to actually develop small companies from the products of the science that was done under the IFA. The IFA has become the foundation for us to develop new areas within the nanotechnology umbrella. And nanotechnology is here to stay for many decades ahead.